Hello, Millie Ears, and welcome to week five at St Andrews Catholic College. There's a lot going on as we head towards the magical Christmas holidays. Uh, a lot of things that we need to get organised and prepared for the students as they head into 2018. And the first of those is that our Year 5 students are moving up on November the 2nd, this Thursday, to spend a day in middle years as a Grade 6 student. So uh, we, we wish that they all have a fantastic day. We also invite the parents of Year 5 students to come along, I think it's 6pm in O'Block on the Thursday night, where we'll do a parent information session on what to expect with their child coming into the middle years area. In the following week, uh, Thursday the 9th of November, the Year 7 students in 2018 will be having an orientation day. So that's a lot of the Year 6 students jumping up and about 75 students from the schools around Cairns coming in and uh, again, experiencing what it's like to be at St Andrews for a day, uh, followed by a parent information evening uh, that night. And we talk about really exciting things for students going into Year 7. We talk about lockers and getting their laptops and those sorts of fun things. So. It's, it's a great night and it's just good to come in and say hello, especially if you're relatively new to the community. Other things that are going on, next Monday evening, Monday the 6th, we have our awards night. Now, this is a great night. It takes a lot of work goes into the evening. What we're trying to do is we're trying to recognise and celebrate the students that have done well in their academic studies. All year we celebrate the students that do well with charities and you know the outreach and social justice. But uh, on Monday evening, we really do uh, pin down and have a look at how well students have done academically. So that's the students who get the Academic Excellence Awards and excellence in their subjects. But my favourite is the Diligence too, because our Diligence Awards are really focused at those children who have just worked and worked and worked and worked. They may not have got the highest grade, but they certainly did stay true to what we asked them to do, which is put in maximal effort and uh, work really hard. So it's a great night for recognising that as well. Uh, there should be invitations go out to everybody who has a child that will be receiving an award of some sort on that night. Uh, also going on is, uh, I'm gonna go around this week and talk to the year six is going into year seven, year seven is going into year eight, and the year eight is going into year nine, about subject selections, especially the year eight and year nines in 2018. They'll need to hop online and our subject selection online, and they'll need to make choices of what electives they wanna do throughout the year. So I'm gonna go through that with the students first in their pastoral care time, and then I'll send a letter home, um, encouraging parents to sit down with their child and to go through and choose those electives that they wanna do in 2018. Now, what we do in middle years, especially in that eight and nine, those subjects that you're choosing should be the high interest subjects that your child wants to do, so that they're really forming an understanding of what they wanna do when they go into senior years, okay? So, and sometimes it's learning about what they don't wanna do either. But what we're trying to establish there is a connection with study pathways in senior years. Um, hopefully the child in their electives has somebody from senior years teaching them and they can start having conversations around, you know, where does law and disorder go or where does forensic science go into the senior year study? And it gets them excited about going into year 10, 11 and 12. So I hope I'll see you either at one of the information nights or you certainly uh, get an opportunity to sit down with your child and make subject selections and, and get that all locked in. That's all for this week. Uh, have a great week and I'll see you later on in the year. Thank you.